Hi everyone, welcome to another Christians in Education Bite Size. Uh, today we've got Dan Henderson, Reverend Dan, um, who is going to be speaking to us um, all about how to tune in to, to God's heartbeat and find rest in him. I don't know how you're feeling at the moment, but, but I think often um, teachers work really, really hard. And so um, anything about uh, finding rest and tuning into God has got to be a good thing. So I hope this is a real blessing to you. Hi there. My name's Dan Henderson and I'm a, a vicar over in Hove, at St Andrew's Church in Hove. And it's great to be involved in this Christians in Education Bite Size today. I uh, wanted to read to you from uh, Psalm 62, uh, the first half of it I'm going to read in a few moments. Uh, we had a series in the Psalms during the first lockdown in, in 2020 at church. And although we were online, although we couldn't gather together, we couldn't hug, we couldn't sing together, we realised that the Psalms do something really important. They sort of give us a, a soundtrack to life with God. So here's Psalm 62 verses 1 to 8. Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I shall never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would all of you throw me down this leaning wall this tottering fence. Surely they intend to topple me from my lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I shall not be shaken. My salvation and my honour depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. I uh, have three daughters and uh, the eldest, Lydia, uh, became a teenager last year. When my wife was first in labour with uh, Lydia, uh, her heartbeat was being monitored. Lydia's heartbeat was being monitored on a speaker. And we both remember listening to this comforting beat filling the room all through that night. I was thinking about heartbeats and how the world so often seems to have its own heartbeat, its own rhythm. And it's so easy to fall in step with it without even realising. It's the beat that tells us what we should achieve, what we should value, what we should look like. It tells us uh, we need to have more experiences, give our kids more opportunities, grab life and make sure we squeeze, squeeze everything out of it. The beat just says, do more, do more. You need to do more to prove yourself to yourself, to others, to God. Sometimes it feels like that beat is getting faster and faster and faster and we're just left running to keep up. The Psalms, the songs in the Bible, tune us into God's heartbeat. Just like that steady heartbeat kept me and Joe going through the night 13 years ago, reassuring us. Psalm 62 says, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. How do you tune out the world's incessant heartbeat? By tuning into God's. Paying close attention every day, every moment to the one that says it's done. You're saved in me. Well, as we do that, uh, as we read through the Psalms, uh, I want to pray uh, and remind us of the God that we worship. Father God, we praise you. We praise you that you have given us your words to enjoy, to enrich our lives, to uh, uh, study, to uh, equip us for every aspect of life. We praise you for the Psalms where we can tune into your heartbeat, into your will for our lives. Father, we praise you that our souls find rest in you. 
Help us as we get caught up in that world's heartbeat to look to you, to listen to you, to pause and to hear you in our lives. We praise you in the name of Jesus and in the power of your spirit. Amen.